Hello everybody, my name is Ravalicious and I'm a Twitch streamer slash new YouTuber, I guess. Uh, I'm making this video because I get a lot of questions on my stream on several issues. First of all, the number one thing is my DPS meter and my break bar meter. If you look at this and I move it, they move together and they never overlap. I can have a squad of 50 people and they will never overlap, which keeps the meters quite clean and quite nice, very helpful and accessible. So I will show you how to get that done. I will also show you how and where to download the actual DPS meter, but also how to set up the boon table in a way that is catered to your playstyle. I will also show you how to change the font so that it's a little bit clearer and nicer looking than the default font that our DPS has. So yeah, just stay tuned. I'll show you everything and sit back, relax and uh, stay sexy. Okay, step one to get this awesome, sexy Arc DPS meter is you can go to my channel. I have them all, like everything that you need compiled into one command that's very easy. If you go to my channel, even when I'm offline and you tap in the chat exclamation mark Arc, you will get everything that you need. The Arc DPS, the boon table, and even a font. And I'll explain the font later. But for now, you just click on both of those links. For the Arc DPS, you just need to go to the bottom. You click on x64 current. And you download that D3D, D9DLL file. And here, you just download it here. I'm not going to do it because it's already installed. But I'm going to show you where they go after they go to your download folder. So we're going to go into the download folder right here. I already pre-downloaded it, but that doesn't matter. Once they're here, like imagine they're here. Wow, imagination, sexy. Uh, you go into your Guild Wars 2 folder and both paste them into your bin 64. As you can see, the D3D9DLL is there and my Arc DPS is there. When you do that, make sure that Guild Wars 2 is not open or you'll get an error. Okay, after you've downloaded those files that I've mentioned and put them into the bin 64 of your Guild Wars 2 folder, you open your game and you just type Alt Shift T and magic stuff happens. So then you hover over uh, area stats, that little arrow, I'm going to select uh, five and six because those ones are not set up, the rest are set up. And as you can see, you have two damage meter. I've selected five and six because I want one damage meter and I want one break bar meter. So I can yell at pugs when they don't CC or warriors when they don't bring maces. <laughs> I'm not toxic, I swear. So let's tackle on the first damage meter. So you can set this up however you want. So let's right. click on it and then you will go into display. At the bottom of this display, as you can see, there's something called stat format. And if you hover over it, you'll get a lot of different stats. You can set this up however you want it. So the first one is cleave damage, then you have cleave per second and then the cleave percentage. You can change that by just deleting the number and adding the number that you want so that you can cater and customize it to however you want it. You can even name your bar by selecting one of those. At least if you want to change what kind of stats your DPS meter displays, this is how you do it. Now for the break bar damage, very easy. Left click, you go into sword advance and select break bar. Easy does it. Now, how do I snap? my two meters together so that first of all when your squad fills up and you have like 10 or 50 players in your squad they don't overlap and create such a mess and when you move the top one the bottom one moves with it so i like to have my dps meter at the top so what i do is i right click on it and i go into position and i make sure that manual is selected now for the bottom one what i'll do is i'll go once again into uh, position, select window relative position. Now it's snapped at the at the top here and it's called CHCLI5. So that's important. And your damage meter is now called CHCLI4. You can right click it over there, even though it has moved in the position window here. First of all, you want to make sure to select bottom left. So you want your DPA, your break bar meter to be at the bottom left and it snaps to the top left. So your damage meter is at the top left. But it's very important here in the windows name to type the name of the other window, your, your damage window. So CHCLI4 and bam, as you can see, they've snapped together. Uh, now, just be careful because if you're using a different font, you really need to make sure that the font doesn't capitalize everything. Like I use a font that capitalizes everything. So I had to figure out to put it not in capitals so for it to work. But yeah, you have it. 
And now you have your damage, your break bar, and once I move my damage, the break bar moves with it. And if new players are added, they won't overlap and create a mess. Now, onto the boon table. So once again, Alt Shift T will pull out everything that you need. You go to boon table on the little arrow. I'll pull out number three because this one has not been set up and you get this massive truncus. You can choose to remove, for example, I like to remove the sub, I don't really care. So you go into uh, column setup, you click on sub, it will remove the sub. Now it's still quite long. Um, so in order to remove some of like to shorten it or make those columns a little bit shorter, you just go into style and then, um, auto resize window to content and then just lower it if you want. Like I like to make it smaller. Um, and then if you want to add or remove bones, once again, you go, you right click, go into column setup, bones, and then you can add. I like to add regen personally, but like you can remove and add whatever you want and then just shove it in the side wherever you want it. And that's how you do it. And it's all nice and perfect. However, there is one issue that a lot of people ask me is how do you change the font? Because this font, it's not that great. It's pretty, it's not very pretty if you ask me. And it's very difficult to see, especially if you're a streamer or a YouTuber and your audience are trying to read your DPS or your break bar or your boons. It's extremely difficult. So I'm going to show you right away how to add a font. Okay, so I've quit the game uh, to show you exactly how to get a font. Um, so we're back to my Twitch channel, still offline. Uh, I'm gonna retype the art comment. And as you can see, I've selected one font that I really like. A lot of streamers like this font. It's very clear, very easy to see. You just need to click on it. It will download the font. And what's really good about it is that it downloads it already in the format that ArcDPS wants it in. So I'm going to show you right away. The font is here. It's called Lemon Milk Medium. That's the title of the font. However, if you put it like this, as lemon milk medium into your ArcDPS file, it will not work. You need to rename the font to ArcDPS underscore font. And you need to make sure that it's a true type font style. So otherwise it will not work. So pretty much find the font that you really like, make sure it's a true type font file and rename it. So right click, rename to ArcDPS font. If you don't want to bother, just go to my Twitch channel. It's already done for you. So then you just cut so that it doesn't stay in your download folder. You go to your Guild Wars 2 folder, which is over here. And this time you don't go into bin 64, you'll go into add-on, ArcDPS, and you paste it here. There we go. I don't know where paste is apparently. Once this is done, also make sure once again that Guild Wars 2 is not open. I will open Guild Wars 2 for you and you can see how it looks. Anyways, we're back into Guild Wars 2 and as you can see, uh, my font has changed into some sexy looking font. Uh, I find this so much easier to read, so much better, prettier as well than this like little weird nerdy coding font, no offense. The only downside is that it's in capital letters. So the only thing you have to be careful is once you add the name of the window here, make sure that you don't use capital letters. So yeah, that's it. That's how you set up your boon table, your arc DPS, your break bar damage, how you snap it together. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I get a lot of questions on my stream uh, on that, so I hope this will help a lot of people. Uh, if you want to come and swing by my stream, I stream almost every day. I do a lot of giveaways. Uh, it's a fun place to be. I'm a big Pepega player, so if you want to make fun of me in a nice way, because we are loving, you can come up. I'll put my, the description to my channel below and... Yeah, I look forward to meeting you and seeing you there. Don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. I try to post content regularly from now on and like or dislike this video up to you and leave a comment and tell me how I can improve. Anyways, thank you so much um, and have a great day.